Hello everybody, welcome back again. Here in this video, I will study about the design of guide bank. Okay, and you can say uh, designing of uh, bell bond. So, uh, in this video, we will first uh, see the uh, design steps of the guide bank. Okay, and after that, uh, we will also do a numerical uh, related to designing of guide bank okay and this is the question over here and we will uh, solve this numerical okay and uh, uh, before solving uh, this numerical uh, let's see the design steps different design steps that we should uh, follow uh, during the designing of guide bank or bail bond okay okay so let's see first what is uh, guide bank so you can see here in this figure okay uh, this is the uh, typical cross section of guide bank okay and here in uh, the side you can see here this is the lining okay and this is uh, provided uh, with um, boulders or you can say concreting okay uh, why you provide uh, this guide bank uh, because for the protection uh, from the scoring okay uh, we have to provide uh, this guide bank uh, of the guide bank so you can see here the guide bank uh, this is also called a uh, bail bond okay and guide banks are made for guiding the steam near uh, a structure so as to uh, confine it in a reasonable width of a river okay uh, and uh, this is called also called a uh, bail bond and as i already said this guide i are especially provided for the guiding the steam near the structure so as to confine it uh, in a reasonable width of a river and uh, keep keeping the safe from the uh, scoring of the uh, swell okay it's uh, near uh, that uh, point and uh, the guide bank are other wo work embankment for guiding the flood water of a river near uh, a structure constructed across the river Okay, and uh, you can see the uh, 3D figure of guide bank. Uh, you can see here. Okay, and now let's see the design steps of guide bank. So, in very first step, we have to uh, design a bridge all the way a river, or you can say simply a minimum width of waterway. Okay, for this we use uh, Lacy's uh, regime waterway theory, or you can uh, say the clear waterway. This can be calculated. Uh, that is the value of p equal to uh, 4.75 root under q okay this is uh, this formula is taken from the Lacy's uh, regime theory okay and the width of channel that is the value of p equal to uh, 4.75 root under q and uh, for the uh, for the uh, length of uh, this we have to uh, increase this value with the 20 percent okay and after the increasing uh, this value uh, with 20% we get the value of L and simply we can calculate the value of L equal to 1.2 uh, times of this value P okay and we get the value of L okay and after uh, first step uh, let's see the second step okay in this step uh, we have to determine the length of up steam guide bank and uh, for this we can simply use this formula uh, 1.25 to 1.5 L okay so this is the criteria for the length of up steam uh, side of guide bank and you can uh, take this value uh, between this okay 1.25 l to 1.5 l uh, and uh, length of down steam guide bank equal to uh, 0.25 l okay and uh, um, let's assume the up steam curve head equal to uh, 120 degree to uh, 145 degree you can see here in this figure uh, first see the length of our up steam guide bank you can see here in this video this is the up steam corvette and this is the down steam of the corvette this is the uh, typical example of guide bank or you can say bail bond okay and uh, these two uh, is uh, provided here this in the up steam uh, corvette and you can also see these two in the down steam side okay and for the up steam we have to take this length equal to 0 0.45 l uh, as we discussed here uh, 0. Uh, 
uh, 251.5 L okay and length of downstream uh, guide bank that is that is taken 0 0.25 uh, L okay so in this value is taken 0 0.25 uh, L as we discussed and the uh, assume of a steam curve heads equal to 120 degree to 145 degree you have to take the value of of a steam curve heads that is the angle of uh, this angle okay you can take this angle uh, between the 120 degree to uh, 145 degree okay as your choice you can take any value between uh, this okay and for the downstream curve head you can see here this is the downstream curve okay and for the downstream curve we have to take the value uh, angle downstream curve head equal to 45 to 60 degree this angle you can see here this angle you can uh, take between the range 45 to 60 degree for the downstream curve and now for the radius of upstream curve uh, this is the value of uh, radius uh, simply r r equal to 0 0.45 l you can see here this is the uh, radius for the upstream uh, curve this is radius equal to 0 0.45 l and the radius of downstream curve head r equal to 0 0.25 l so we have to take this value for the downstream and in step number third uh, cross section of guide bank for the cross section of uh, guide bank uh, we have we will provide free uh, body equal to uh, 1.25 to 1.5 meter and side slope side slope we uh, take 2.1 you can see here uh, this is the side slope and this value is generally taken 2 is to 1 okay and now top width of a uh, top width or you can say carriage way uh, this generally taken 5 meter okay and this is not less than 4 meter so means uh, we have to take uh, top width is greater than 4 meter and generally we prefer 5 meter okay and you can see here this is the top width of a guide bank and this is generally taken 5 meter okay and slope is 2.1 So this is all about the uh, third step now in, uh, in fourth step okay uh, fourth step we have to design of uh, a stone pitching and a uh, for this we simply use for the slope pitching thickness we use t equal to uh, 0 0.06 uh, into q to d power 1 by 3 and this value is uh, simply denoted by a small t you can see here the slope pitching thickness slope pitching thickness means this this is a slope and uh, the thickness of this slope pitching you can see here on uh, this distance is taken a small t and a small t equal to 0 0.06 q to the power 1 by 3 and q is given in the question and after using discharge we get a uh, value of a small t and after that we use uh, we have to determine thickness of upron and this is denoted by capital T and capital T simply calculated by a uh, 1.9 times of a small t and a small t uh, value is taken from here okay and after that we have to uh, calculate length of upron and length of upron can be calculated equal to 1.5 d okay and now um, we you have to understand what is d okay and simply uh, d can be calculated equal to 1.2 times of r minus 1 for the state uh, rich guide bank and whenever uh, we provide for a uh, curve linear transition portion we have to use uh, this d value equal to 1.5 r minus y okay and now we have to you have to know what is r and y so uh, you can see here on uh, this is the y y equal to nothing it is just a depth of water above the river bed level okay you can see in this um, cross sectional guide bank this is the y okay and y is the depth of water above the bed level from uh, this this is the bed level this is the depth of water from bed level to the uh, this uh, level this is this level is called high fluid level okay and from the distance this is y depth of water above the bed level okay and after knowing this value we have to calculate value of r okay and uh, r can be calculated uh, with the uh, resign formula r equal to uh, 0 0.47 root under uh, uh, sorry 
आर इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर सेवन इन टू क्यू एफ क्यू बाई एफ टू डी पावर वन बाई थ्री ओके सो दिस इज जस्ट अ ब्रैकेट सो फोर जीरो पॉइंट फोर सेवन इंटू क्यू एफ टू डी पावर वन बाई थ्री ओके एंड हे दिस इज ऑल्सो ऑन नॉन दैट इज द फैक्टर एंड द एफ इज द सील्ड फैक्टर वी ऑलरेडी डन डिफरेंट नोमेरिकल रिलेट टू सील्ड फैक्टर एंड इफ द इन क्वेश्चन इफ सील्ड फैक्टर इज गिवन देन वी हैव टू यूज दैट वैल्यू इफ देर इज नॉट गिवन सील्ड फैक्टर इफ देर इज प्रोवाइडेड डायमीटर ऑफ सील्ड पार्टिकल देन वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट दिस सील्ड फैक्टर एंड फॉर द कैलकुलेटिंग दिस सील्ड फैक्टर वी यूज दिस फॉर्मूला सील्ड फैक्टर एफ इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स रूट हंड्रेड डी एंड वेट डी इज द डायमीटर ऑफ सील्ड पार्टिकल इन एम एम ओके एंड आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस वैल्यू वैल्यू ऑफ एफ इज नाउन एंड फॉर दिस फॉर्मूला नाउ वी कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आर ओके एंड आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग आर वी कैन सिंपली कैलकुलेट वैल्यू ऑफ डी डी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू फाइव आर माइनस वन फॉर द स्टेट रिच गाइड बैंक एंड डी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फाइव आर माइनस वाई फॉर द कॉर्व लिनियर ट्रांजेक्शन पोर्सन ओके एंड वाई वेन वी यूज दिस और वेन वी यूज दिस ओके दिस डिपेंड्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन वेन एवर इन द क्वेश्चन सेट्स प्रोवाइड स्टेट रिच गाइड बैंक देन वी हैव टू यूज दिस फॉर्मूला एंड वेन एवर इन क्वेश्चन सेट फॉर द कॉर्व लिनियर ट्रांजेक्शन वी हैव टू यूज दिस फॉर्मूला एंड इफ इन द क्वेश्चन नॉट मैंसन देन वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड दिस बोथ ओके ओके वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड दिस बोथ एंड आफ्टर दिस देन यू कैन यूज दिस फॉर्मूला टू एंड यूजिंग दिस वैल्यू ऑफ डी टू डिफरेंट वैल्यू वी हैव केप टू कैलकुलेट लेंथ ऑफ अपर ओन ऑल्सो टू वैल्यू ओके दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द डिजाइनिंग ऑफ स्टोन पीचिंग एंड अपर ओन ओके and by the using this uh, fourth uh, design criteria we can simply design the uh, guide bank okay and uh, let's uh, see one uh, different uh, topic here this is uh, launching a prom okay in numerical uh, we have given different value of the launching apron and uh, this is also as in short or not okay what is launching apron so let's see definition of this whenever a sloping face is uh, protected by the stone pitching okay uh, this is the stone pitching provided here for the protection of uh, this okay uh, against the score as i already told uh, this protect from the scoring the pitching extended beyond the toy on the bed and this slope pitching is extended from here okay this is the toy of the uh, this and this is a toy and this is extended some distance away from the toy so uh, this stone pitching is provided uh, in slope also and some distance from the toy okay uh, till this uh, so the pitching is extended beyond the toy on the bed in form of a packed stone okay in the form of uh, this is packed stone this is called the uh, launching apron okay so we have we already calculated this value and as uh, as i said the value of uh, length of a prone that is the value of l equal to 1.5 d this is the value of this uh, from uh, two of the from two to uh, this point okay and this value is 1.5 d okay and value of a small t is calculated equal to 0.06 uh, into q to the power 1 by 3 okay and this is the thickness t and i uh, as we see, see thickness of a prone that is t capital t equal to this and this value is taken 1.9 times of a small t this is small t okay uh, and uh, we already discuss about different parameter and this is the free board uh, from uh, hfl high fluid level to the top width this is the free board and simply we provide 1.25 to 1.5 meter as we discussed and this is the areal we can say uh, river bed level okay by the helping of uh, this uh, different uh, four design criteria we can simply design the uh, guide bank of the guide bank on simply you can say bell bond okay now let's see the numerical uh, related to this 
uh, we have numerical given over here design and sketch of guide bank including uh, launching apron 